Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. According to the level of your yieldedness, the moment you begin to struggle with the Holy Ghost, it is fearful when God leaves you to yourself. If you're with me, please say amen. amen. I don't know why God is speaking this to someone, but this is a very serious prophetic message for someone tonight. What was the second thing they did? The sons of Issachar. The Bible says they had the strategy for the season to know what Israel ought to do. It's not enough to have discernment. Please hear me. Dominion is strategy dependent. Write it down. Dominion in the cosmos is strategy dependent. For every height, every mountain, every level in the spirit, you must go through the sacrifice of alignment to receive the strategy that commands and maintains dominion per season. Hear me? Just because the Red Sea parted does not mean if you stand before Jordan, for you it means the sea should part. For you the strategy will be an energizing of the spirit to walk on water. Don't assume that because the Red Sea parted, every time you stand before a sea, you say it passed. That is not the only formula. Just because Samson carried the jawbone of a donkey and killed 3,000 Philistines does not mean, oh Elisha, that when they surround you, the strategy will be to fight. There are times it will be to make them blind and lead them to Samaria where they will eat and give you rest. Do you have the strategy? Warriors in the Bible were people who paid the price to receive strategy. Joshua circumcised himself and all the men that came out of Egypt, of uh, uh, the Israelites came out of Egypt, and they waited for the arrival of the captain of the Lord's army. When he arrived, he gave them a strategy. He said, if it is Jericho you are going to bring down, don't try to fight them, they will kill you. Jericho is a strong city. Here is the formula. Go round once, just once, every day and then on the seventh day let the priests and the singers be in front and then you go around seven times as soon as you reach the seventh time let there be a shout the healer it's called the shout of a king he says when you shout that fence will go down joshua said i've got it i'm sure he called the warriors and they brought their swords he said keep it this is not the time to fight <clears throat> For many of us, every time we see enemies, you bring out your knife. No. There are times you bring out the trumpet. There are times you step back and allow the worshippers to be the ones to go in battle. Oh, Jehoshaphat. It is not always war with a knife. There are times you use honor like Esther. That becomes your weapon of war. There are times you fight for the Lord has given you victory. There are times you allow the Red Sea to deal with the Egyptians. Your own is for the sea to open and you go. Have you obtained the strategy for this season you are in? Don't enter seasons assuming a former strategy. No, it can cost you your life. What gave you victory yesterday may lead to utter defeat tomorrow. Man of God, don't as one day God gave you an instruction to ask people to sow into your life or so into the ministry and you responded and you said well i have a church building please so because it was god that said it you gave an announcement that did not make sense and one billion came from it and you built don't assume that that is the way god wants you to raise funds for another project you will make a call and ten thousand will not come rather the insults that will come will be more than 10 billion worth of insults I'm not be, I hope you are getting something now. Please write it down. For every prophetic season in your life, 
you must obtain the strategy for dominion for every prophetic season in your life and of your life you must obtain a strategy for your dominion don't make assumptions we win by the strategies we are given in the spirit no wonder the bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal it says but that they are mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds casting down every imagination is the word yes and bringing every thought to the obedience of christ the weapons of our warfare they are not carnal your promotion is coming and they are fighting you in the office don't assume that the strategy is to go and open the door of your boss and shout and yell at him after all i'm a king and a priest you go and open his door and say mr man let me tell you it's not because i'm afraid of you i went to school before you were born and you start saying and the man will just keep quiet once you finish okay i'm sorry for offending you leave the job i said no that's not leave the job you have brought yourself into a greater calamity and greater trouble what is the strategy for my remaining a an executive director I am the only Christian among 10 non-Christians. Lord, what is the strategy for survival? Most believers have not mastered, even for businessmen. What is the strategy for my profiting for this year? Are we together now? Yes. Oh, it is God that giveth power to get wealth. I know that I'll... Mm -mm, mm -mm, don't assume. The person talking to you is not stupid, ladies and gentlemen. Believe me, I know what I'm saying ministers don't assume that because you executed something and it worked last year you must go to the spirit and say lord what is the blueprint for the season this is where the danger of blind copying of things we can be inspired and motivated by people but you must be careful it is always at thy word that we move not at thy intention Master, we have toiled all night, nevertheless, at thy word. And they knew what Israel ought to do. Do you know what you need to do in this season to prosper? Man of God, do you know what you need to do, respectfully speaking, for your ministry to thrive? Father, mother, do you know what to do in this season to obtain the school fees of your children? Apostle, I've been getting a job listen look at me please uh i'm from 2018 to 2020 they usually give me a job but since pandemic they did not give me the job if brook cherry is dry find out from god where else to go otherwise you would die elijah he gave you brook cherry for a season and he commanded a raven to come there when the water dried up it was a sign that that season too had come to an end don't remain at brook cherry there waiting for a raven the raven may not come every day. You need to know where the address of the widow in Zarephath. And there were many widows in Zarephath. He needs to tell you which one to meet. If you're with me, say amen. amen. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom i choose the way of the lord ah. father open my eyes to see the formula that controls my dominion for this season not everything translates to your victory the bible says now thanks be to god which caused us always to triumph have you received by the spirit by the sacrifice of consecration and the sacrifice of alignment have you received the strategy for your excelling in business have you received the strategy for your excelling in ministry have you received the strategy for training your children don't assume that because you have children this is how they are doing it who are the day their destinies are not the same so manoah called and said it is not enough to know that you are giving us a child please reveal to us how should this child be trained and a strategy was given let his hair not be cut 
he shall be a Nazarene unto God. And that became his strategy. Notice, when Satan came to attack Samson through Delilah, all he was looking for was a revelation of the strategy. That strategy is supposed to be a secret between you and God. That is your, that is your advantage. You will tremendous power in ministry. There are things God has told me as a person. It's a unique, it's a unique dealing between me and God. That for as long as those things are kept, your relevance is kept. Samson, know what keeps your strength. If it's your hair protected jealously, it is better for your leg to be injured, but that hair remains. If you are Elijah, if you like bob like my hair like this, it doesn't carry anything because the power is not on the hair. We win by strategies. Please hear me. We win by strategies. Businessmen, it's time for you to stop doing conventional things and go and stay with the spirit and say show me my secret to dominion all based on scripture but this has been custom built for my own victory as a man of god you need to obtain grace from god lord what is the secret that you have placed upon my life how do i dispense the word what is the secret that controls the working of your anointing in my life i was listening to a message by a a allen and he was talking about the fact that he desired the power of God so seriously. He went and locked himself and he told his wife, Honey, you will not see me again. I'm crying until God shows me the secret to spiritual power. As if it's not in the Bible. And he went back and locked himself. And according to him, he said God gave him seven instructions and said for you, if you control these seven instructions, they become the formula to the revelation of the power of God upon your life. But men like William Branham, that was not their experience. And yet all of them operated in power. Listen, let me tell you, when Satan comes to attack you, he attacks what the formation of your altar with God. That's what he comes to attack. What did God say, Eve and Adam? I don't don't give me your opinion what did God say what is responsible for your enjoying the Eden life there are many of us who are about to give Delilah very cheaply the formula of your hair because there's no discernment champions are champions because there is something in their life they protect that becomes the secret not secret because it is hidden secret because of the power it controls many things in their lives there are many people if you separate yourself from worship you have separated yourself from the mysteries that control the flow of power in your life there are people if you separate yourself from prayer consecration people have their various formulas the, the spiritual combination that produce power in their lives there are people who God will make certain demands on them. Before they ever go out for a crusade, they must fast for at least three days. It is not like that in the Bible, but that is a customized dealing God gave them. And for as long as they keep it, it is a covenant that protects the purity of the anointing. And yet for somebody, he can be strolling on the road and they say, can you come and help us at this crusade ground? And he will come and stand there and that it will look like he's been preparing for it for 10 years. My question for you is, have you received the strategy that controls victory for this season? Hmm. One of the blessings of discernment is that it helps you not only to know God, but you know the ways of God. Are we together? When you go and meet a herbalist and tell that herbalist, um, sir, I'm trying to look for money for a political position or something. Do you know he will consult with the spirit realm and come up with a strategy for you? Is that true? He will not tell you, go and give everybody that strategy, but you say that's a, based on your request. This is what the realm of the spirit has said is the requirement. Bring a goat or bring a cow and then go to a road where there are so many beggars, give to, do all of these things, and you honor that strategy and with the foolishness of that strategy, 
within the limit of divination it will seem to produce a semblance of tremendous results but when we come to God we are not interested in receiving strategies Joshua do not go and knock the gate of Jericho and say open we want to fight you may not survive Jericho is a city that nothing comes in and nothing comes out and it is not always by your sword the fence is too thick to use sword you need to go back and find out Jehoshaphat grant them access to revelation and let them know that there are times that God can make enemies fight themselves what you need is to sing it may not make sense but sing there are times that you can go and lock yourself and God will say take your employment letter don't talk to anybody about your promotion you just place it on the ground and dance around it and he said God but I went to school he said that's the problem just do what I ask you to do you will dance like a madman for one hour and God will wake your boss like he did Abimelech and say why have you not considered promoting this my servant give the person double promotion or create another department and you see people envying you and the only thing they can say is you are doing something that we don't understand and they are not wrong may your life be a mystery and a wonder in the name of Jesus Christ the tribe of Issachar they were men who stayed with God to receive strategies that is why I encourage people to go for end-of-year retreats and receive strategy for this ministry there are things that God has said for this year not just the prophetic word but the things the steps to take the conference we're doing in UK and it's not just a human being if I want to go and rest I don't have to do a conference I can smuggle myself there, go and lie down and come back. But this is a prophetic conference. Now you will see what that conference will become. And you will know that the hand of God was upon it. That it came by a Rema word. Can I tell you, when ordinary people look supernatural, it's because they are trading on supernatural secrets. We are ordinary nothing unusual by ourselves except that the power we have received the wisdom that comes from heaven when we put it to work it produces extraordinary results that defy the intellect this is the secret please lay your hands on your head in one minute i want you to cry for the next one minute lord what is the strategy for the next level of my prophetic destiny reveal it unto me someone open your mouth and pray someone open your mouth and pray prophet pray apostle pray man of god pray what is the strategy for the next season of my life what is the strategy for raising my children now that they, they have become teenagers what is the strategy to restore my crumbling business what is the strategy to ward off these attacks that are coming from left right and center someone pray someone pray Reveal to me. Reveal to me. The strategy for victory. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 24. Please give us verse 32, I believe. Matthew 24. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.